Yet, also incredible, the fake news' distortions and lies about January 6th. I'd like to bring in our panel, Craig Shirley, mm -hmm. presidential historian, Reagan biographer, welcome back, and Doug Weed, presidential historian, former advisor to President George H.W. Bush. Welcome, gentlemen. Uh, more recent, 1998, a lunatic, anti-government lunatic, went into the Capitol building, killed two officers, a detective, a Capitol Hill police officer, Detective uh, John Gibson, and Officer Jacob Chestnut shot and killed inside the Capitol building. This is worse than anything that happened on uh, on January 6th. It is. Just look yes. at the numbers. And Brian Sicknick, hero cop that he is, died of natural causes, or that he was, after the event. Um, so, Doug, your thoughts on the distortion. And also, yeah, what about a commission? I mean, a commission would be good, but I guess the commission they've come up with is way, way skewed. Yeah, you know, my colleague here, Craig Shirley, did a documentary, Greg, on 1968. And I was here in Washington, D.C. in 1968 with my homemade, my little camera, taking pictures. There were tanks all over the street. The city had practically burned to the ground. There were riots in 140 cities across America with neighborhoods that burned to the ground. So, no, this was not the worst moment of insurrection in American history since the Civil War. There were many even in my lifetime. But the point I wanted to make, Greg, was this. They know that. They know that. They're not stupid. Yes. They still persist in saying it. This is something that Marxism does. And you've heard me say several times on your show, refer to the dystopian novel 1984 by George Orwell, where the protagonist is brought in a little room and he's grilled. And he said two plus two equals five. And he's forced to repeat this and say it, even though he knows it isn't true, because this is the nature of communism and socialism. They want to force the lie and they want you to believe the lie and repeat the lie. No. That's part of the process. Amazing. You know, I think some know it's a lie, but some don't. Some have been fooled. And the smugness in how they repeat this stuff. I'd like to move now to the anti uh, Semitic attacks that are happening in plain sight, right on the streets of American cities. Something I thought I would never see so open, so systemic really in new york city we see it in los angeles we see it this is happening this is real the media don't seem to really care uh police departments are trying to do what they can but some of this stuff weirdly has been normalized by black lives matter last summer craig what do you think and this to me is extremely troubling indicates that we could be in for some really really dark times you know greg i can't believe sometimes that we're in the 21st century with the way uh, members of the Jewish faith are being treated on the streets of the, uh, the cities of, uh, of, of, of America. This is, it's appalling. It's disgusting. And I thought we were beyond all this. I thought we were, we were at a point now where maybe we started judging people. But we're actually going backwards. Uh, this is obviously about, you know, taking up the Hamas's cause versus Israel. And it's being... It's, being extended here in the United States, and what, what it's shaking down to, it's it, like everything is political. And you have Republicans who are want to defend Israel, uh, want to arm Israel, want to help Israel, want to defend Israel, and Democrats and liberals who take up the cause of Hamas for, for some odd reason, even though they just fired almost 5,000 rockets into Israel in uh, unprovoked uh, attack on Israel and Israel's uh, citizens. It's, it's truly appalling. And the media don't want to pursue it. I don't know why. They're barely paying any attention to the strife in this country that's really no. happening. To be continued, gentlemen, to be sure, thank you, Doug Weed, Craig Shirley. For some reason, uh, this interview you just saw was heavily censored. The only way we know to get around that is if you subscribe to this channel, YouTube channel, and hit the bell, and or if you send this link to a friend in, in an email, that can get through, or subscribe to Rumble. They don't seem to censor these, but this one is especially uh, experiencing some uh, rough censorship. Thank you. We're going to we're going to live through this. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.